approximately 31 miles, 50 kilometers west of Guatemala City, hidden among the majestic departments of Zacatepeques, Escuintla, and Chimaltenango, rises one of nature's most feared forces, Volcán de Fuego. Yesterday, October 16th, 2025, this great active volcano terrified the region by generating three consecutive explosions that sent shockwaves throughout the area, reminding the world why it is considered Central America's most active stratovolcano. At 12,346 feet, 3,763 meters in altitude, Volcán de Fuego has been a silent witness to Guatemalan history for thousands of years. Its formation dates back to the intense tectonic activities that shaped the entire region, strategically positioning it in the feared Pacific Ring of Fire, where tectonic plates collide in a deadly geological dance. This giant is no newcomer to demonstrations of power. Its historical records include more than 81 documented eruptions in the last 26 years. The region where Fuego has established itself is geologically young and extremely unstable. The volcanic rocks that compose its structure result from millions of years of magmatic activity, creating overlapping layers of solidified lava, compacted ash, and pyroclastic fragments. This complex composition makes each eruption unpredictable, as different materials react in distinct ways to the internal pressures of ascending magma. Fuego's magma chamber system extends deep into the Earth's crust, connecting to reservoirs of molten rock that stretch for dozens of miles below the surface. When pressure in these reservoirs reaches critical levels, the result is the spectacular explosions that have defined this volcano's reputation. The privileged geographical location allows its eruptions to be seen from great distances, transforming each event into a spectacle that is simultaneously beautiful and terrifying. The three explosions recorded yesterday were not isolated events, but rather the culmination of weeks of increasing seismic activity detected by sensors from Guatemala's National Institute of Seismology, Volcanology, Meteorology, and Hydrology. Experts had been monitoring small tremors and changes in ground temperature, unmistakable signs that something extraordinary was about to happen in Fuego's depths. The first explosion occurred in the early morning hours generating a column of gases and ash that rose to an impressive 15,748 feet, 4,800 meters, above sea level. The deafening sound of the explosion was heard more than 12 miles, 20 kilometers away, awakening entire communities and making windows vibrate in nearby buildings. The resulting shockwave was recorded by seismographs as a considerable magnitude event, demonstrating the brute force released from the Earth's entrails. The second explosion, more intense than the first, happened just two hours later, creating a dazzling visual spectacle when incandescent material was hurled to heights of 984 feet, 300 meters, above the crater. The shockwaves from this explosion were even more powerful, creating vibrations that could be felt in communities located up to 25 miles, 40 kilometers, from the volcanic epicenter. Residents reported that the roar was comparable to a military explosion, causing birds to fly in panic and domestic animals to hide. The third and most devastating explosion occurred in the middle of the afternoon, when volcanic activity reached its maximum peak. This final explosion generated the most impressive demonstration of nature's power, with a shockwave so intense it was detected by seismological stations in neighboring countries. The National Institute of Seismology confirmed that this explosion released energy equivalent to thousands of tons of dynamite, creating a roar that echoed through the mountains, like the sound of 100 locomotives operating simultaneously. The immediate effects of these three explosions were devastating for nearby communities. Incandescent fragments known as volcanic bombs were hurled to distances of up to 1.2 miles 2 kilometers from the crater, starting small fires in the surrounding vegetation, the columns of ash and toxic gases spread over an area of more than 27 square miles, 70 square kilometers, covering communities like Panamache, Morelia, and Santa Sofia, with a rain of fine particles that made the air unbreathable for hours. The context of this extraordinary activity becomes even more alarming when we consider that 2025 has been a year of hyperactivity for Volcán de Fuego. After 40 days of apparent dormancy, the volcano awakened in March, with a massive eruption that lasted seven minutes, establishing a pattern of erratic behavior that keeps scientists and authorities on maximum alert. During the year, the volcano recorded periods with up to 15 explosions per hour, characterized as volcanian explosions with abundant ballistic material and ash columns reaching 15,748 feet, 
4,800 meters in height. In June, the situation escalated dramatically when Fuego produced lava flows 1,969 feet, 600 meters, in length directed toward the Seca Santa Teresa ravine, accompanied by up to 10 explosions per hour and constant rumblings. Pyroclastic flows, deadly mixtures of superheated gases, ash, and rock fragments, traveled distances of up to 4.3 miles, 7 kilometers, demonstrating the lethal potential of this sleeping giant when fully awakened. The monitoring technology deployed around Fuego represents one of Central America's most sophisticated volcanic surveillance networks. 13 seismic sensors, 4 infrasound sensors, 3 IP cameras, and 7 meteorological sensors work 24 hours a day, transmitting real-time data to Incivumie's operations center. These instruments can detect the smallest variations in the volcano's internal activity from microscopic magmatic movements to the powerful shock waves that accompany major explosions. The activity patterns recorded throughout 2025 reveal a volcano in a state of growing agitation. While in 2016, Fuego recorded 70 explosions per day, currently scientists document between 40 to 100 daily explosions with internal temperatures varying between 212 and 572 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 and 300 degrees Celsius. This escalation in frequency and intensity of explosions suggests fundamental changes in the dynamics of deep magma chambers. The shockwaves generated by yesterday's three explosions are not just scientific curiosities, but physical phenomena with devastating practical implications. When a volcanic explosion releases energy suddenly, it creates pressure waves that propagate through air and ground at supersonic speeds. These waves are capable of breaking glass, damaging structures, and causing serious injuries to people near the epicenter, making each major explosion a real threat to the more than 30,000 people living in the volcano's vicinity. If you're fascinated by these hidden forces of nature and wish to continue learning about the planet's most extraordinary volcanic phenomena, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to not miss upcoming content about Earth's most impressive geological mysteries. In the next video, we will explore how scientists can predict these devastating explosions and what revolutionary technologies are being developed to protect at-risk communities.